Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. This is a demonstration of how you can use really low cost, less than a pound for me, less than a dollar almost, uh, RF modules. The output of the transmitter on its serial port is shown on the left hand side and the received data from the other ESP32 on the right hand side. And there you can see that as it gets transmitted, it gets received near instantaneously. Very simple connections. It's a, attach a 17 centimeter antenna to the transmitter. Don't run the transmitter without an antenna because it damages the RF output stage. And data from pin 17 is transmitted and then receive data from the receiver onto pin 16. So in these examples I'm using the serial port of the ESP32. So you should get about 50 meter range. Here's an improved range version using what's called a super heterodyne receiver that gives much better selectivity, noise reduction, noise elimination and also gives that 150 meter plus range as well. So they're very, again, a very low cost receiver transmitter pair, freely available in uh, most suppliers. And there's the wiring connections for the improved range version. But note that they already conform to a, a form of standard in terms of connection, but it basically, the transmitter needs ground, 5 volts and data in. The receiver needs ground, data out and 5 volts and an antenna connection for both. The receiver antenna length can be any length you like, but you may as well make it 17 centimetres. There's the sketch for the transmitter. Uh, import the hardware serial library. Set up a, an instance of a hardware serial port, virtual port. Set up the speed to be 2400 board. Serial 8 bit no parity on pins 16 and 17. The first pin is the receiver, the second pin declaration is the transmitter. Flush the, res the transmission port to clear of any characters and then print hello world, and then I just print in milliseconds and then repeat. There's the receiver sketch. Same arrangement, set up the same board rate, receive the characters, print the received characters. It couldn't be simpler than that. And there are the connections for the two different types of receiver. In terms of the link speed, don't be put off by um, low board rates, 1200 board, 2400 board, because it doesn't take very long. So in this example, I've said, well, how long is it going to take to transmit a typical sensor data? And um, at 1200 board, 8.33 milliseconds per bit time. That gives you total time of 0.125 seconds. That's not very long. And I think for most IoT sensors, that's uh, very fast, certainly fast enough. Um, when you're using these modules, you need to be realistic. And there is there's a very basic protocol. And you can improve that, obviously. Um, they work very well within their design range, i.e. less than 50 meters. If you get too far apart, communication and range will start to be affected by the environment, so noise atmospheric conditions, humidity, temperature, air pressure. And the range of the transmitter is determined by its supply voltage. Um, and you could add some start characters to act as a filter. 
So for me, these cost this pair of transmitter receivers cost me 59p from AliExpress or Banggood. Um, range is far more than the Wi-Fi and could be used from a sleep mode so you could wake up an ESP32 and broadcast data. And the maximum speed is 2400 board, much more, and it uh, has insufficient bandwidth to cope with that speed. And there is no error detection or correction protocol, but let's remember the modules are, are very cheap and they they make for a very good RF link. Hope you have found this useful and um, enjoy the examples. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 